Hello and welcome back to my channel where you'll find all things cleaning, organizing, and lifestyle. Today's video is all about fridge organization. This is one of the most high traffic spaces in any home, which makes it a little bit complex. So let's get into it. Hey, here is an updated look at my refrigerator. I previously shared a fridge organization video where I felt like things were pretty categorized, but honestly, the functionality of it was just not working for me. I did not like the bins that had to be pulled in and out and everything just kind of kept getting cluttered and messy. So I fully redid everything in the fridge with all new products and I'm gonna show you how I kind of planned out the space and all of the products that I used. Okay, so starting at the top, these are a very, very simple one. Previously, I just had all of my drinks lined up through the back, which was fine, but as soon as you take one, obviously you kind of have to like pull the rest of them forward to get all of them. Not super functional and just not something that I kept up with. So these were a very simple way to just keep all of your cans contained. And then of course, as you grab them, they kind of slide to the front. So very functional, very easy to use and just looks kind of elevated creates a little drink moment up top and then these drawers were honestly my favorite addition to the fridge my favorite thing about them is yes they keep things categorized and it's easy to pull them out and grab what you need but they help you take advantage of the vertical space on your shelf i feel like that is what i struggled with with the previous bins that i had they only came up yay high and it's not like i was able to stack them by any means and i think a lot of times it's the vertical space on the shelves in refrigerators that really just kind of ends up being a waste of space and so the more that you can maximize all of that the better off you're going to be and you'll just be able to fit more items. So I've got small snacks in this one and then the rest I've used for produce. And then I love it because they also came in a bigger size as well. This is like the same brand, if you will. They have two sizes. They are like perfectly proportional, which was important to me. But these are also fantastic. I use these for things like cheese and then I have like a bag of spinach and stuff back there. Anything larger that again, you want um, to keep contained and easy to grab, that is what I used. And then these egg drawers were another new addition. I love these so much. I guess a product like this is very much dependent on how you like to use things. For me, I always had my egg cartons stacked and then obviously would grab them out as I needed them just wasn't functional for me. I just love being able to open this drawer, grab one or two, and then shut it. And I don't have to take them all out and take them out of the cold. So those are awesome. And I love that these are also stackable because again, maximizing the vertical space. I also added another turntable. I would previously had this turntable up top for like all my condiments, sauces, things like that. But definitely wanted to add another one for big things like yogurt and just like tubs of dairy things because those used to be in a bin. And again, just like pulling the entire bin out. It was heavy, it wasn't functional, and it just was not working for me. So the turntable never lets me down. It's easy to just grab what you need. And if you do need to take the whole thing out, it's like very easy to slide in and out. It's just the most functional product. So I can't recommend that enough for again, things like yogurts, even like smaller snacks that come like in bulkier containers. These are amazing. This one is a nine inch, which is gonna be perfect for small, like slender bottles like these. And then for wider tubs, this is, I believe it's an 11 inch or an 11 and a half inch. I'll double check on that, but perfect for all the big things. And then this was just an extra bin that I had to contain all these little Fairlife protein shakes. Don't grab these like super, super often. So the little bin holding them was perfect for us. And then the bottom drawer I reserved for meats as always. I think I said this in my last video, but I had learned from one of my friends that took a food safety course. If you ever have raw meat in your fridge, it always goes on the bottom most shelf in case it were to drip or spill, you don't want it to get on anything else. And that's why I love that it has like its own drawer and it's very much enclosed. So I always save that for raw meat on the bottom. And then sometimes I do get like lunch meat and stuff from the deli, which I would probably just toss in one of these bins or honestly I could would um, dedicate one of the smaller ones that would fit really nicely in here too. I have these separated right now, but I could, you know, combine some of the produce if need be. So I love that you can just kind of like mix and match and change things as you're buying different items. And then these other built-in drawers, I feel like it's pretty common that most fridges have these two drawers. I think traditionally they're meant to be for produce, which however you see it being functional, great. But for me, I did not love them for produce. <coughs> I wanted to reserve this one for heavier bottles because these were just way too tall to fit on the shelves. And I was not about to put them in the side fridge doors because they just like clank with each other like that. This drawer is easy because they're so heavy. It just is an easy way to pull them forward and grab one when you need it. And then this drawer 
is honestly my favorite part of reorganizing the fridge. So previously I did use this for fruit, um, but I turned this into my leftover drawer because what I noticed with my habits in the way that I had had it previously set up, I like just left a space on the shelf for leftovers and I would be stacking things, pushing things to the back, always constantly like moving my glass containers to try and grab it. It was just annoying and also containers and leftovers are just never fun to look at. Like they just, they kind of ruin when you have like a pretty space going on. They just, they ruin it. So I dedicated this entire drawer to leftovers so that they could kind of be hidden when I don't want to see them, but they're super accessible when I need them. So I have like leftover dinner, pre-prepped hard boiled eggs, leftover avocado, really just everything I need. It's at my fingertips and then it's gone and I don't have to look at it. And that's my favorite part of the fridge. And then last but not least, we have the sides of the fridge doors. I feel like previously, before taking the time to really organize my fridge, these things used to be packed. And I love, now that I have figured out like the organization on this side and really maximizing the space, that these are a lot more open and easy to use. So in the top, I just have butter and some minced garlic. And then this shelf is the maple syrup and jam. And then down here, I just have milk. I have heard people talk about like where you should store milk in a refrigerator. I have heard people say that it should not be in the doors because apparently these are like the least cold places. Personally, I don't have that issue. I mean, when I take these out, these are freezing, freezing cold every time. So maybe it kind of depends on the refrigerator, something to note, but I personally have always kept mine in the door like my whole life. So that's still what I do. And then on this side, I just have my Brita and that's it. That is everything in the fridge. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, you can find every product that I use in this video linked below.